Greetings programs. Welcome to my part two of Amstrad PCW8256 video. In this video I'm going to be removing the original 3 inch floppy drive and installing a GoTech drive. If you haven't watched part one I'll put a link in the description below that gives you a little more detail about this machine and what my future plans are for it. There could be a part three but for now this is the part two where I'm going to do the GoTech. So what I need to do first is take the back of this off and there are six screws. There's a screw in here, a screw in here, there's a screw here, here, there's one way under here and another one way under here. See little arrows kind of pointing telling you where the screws are under there which is really nice. So you got arrow, arrow, so, I'm going to lay this monitor on its screen and take the back off. Stand by. Okay, I got the back off, all six screws removed. I got those laying down right here. And you'll notice I have them laid out basically how they came out of the back. The top screws were longer, the two bottom ones are shorter, and then the really small ones were around the expansion port, which would be right here. You can see one went there and one went down there. Back here we can see the vertical hold which was exposed from the outside and then here is the horizontal hold and as you can see with a small flathead screwdriver you can actually adjust that so that's pretty nifty. Back of the board here we got so right here this is the analog power board right here and over in here in this uh, shielding, this would be where the uh, main board is and the Z80 processor. Right over here is the floppy drive in its uh, chassis. But what really surprised me, opening this up, how clean it is inside. I would planned on opening it up, having to take it outside and hit it with the compressor. But look at this. Let me zoom in here. This thing is so clean, so dust free. So either this machine didn't have a lot of use or somebody previous to me getting it had dusted it out, blown it out. But it, I mean, it, it's just immaculate in here. Everything. And just look at this, how clean this board is. Yeah, everything looks good. You got the, the flyback and neck board. Everything looks really good. Okay. Next up, I'm going to put it back on its front, on the screen, and uh, remove the floppy drive. Before I remove the floppy drive and install my GoTech, I thought it would be good to document what kind of tube is in the Amstrad PCW A256. So let me zoom in right here. Move this wire out of the way. It looks like it is an Orion model number 340AXB31. There's a serial number that shows, let me zoom in on that, focus, 8622 is what it starts with. So I'm assuming 1986, 22nd week of the year, and then the serial number of 65022. There's some other numbers here that might be of use. We got E65779 and LR29831. One. So, hopefully that will be of use to somebody. At least it's documented now, so if I ever need to do anything, I'll have that without having to open it up to uh, look for a part. Next up, removing the floppy drive. To remove the floppy drive, I'll need to unplug the ribbon cable and the power cable and remove two screws. One screw is right there, the other screw is down there, and then there's also a ground wire that I'll have to remove from the chassis as well. So let's go ahead and do that next. Well, my friends, there were four screws. I thought only two, but there were four. I couldn't see the other two with the ribbon cable in the way. So to show you, there was one there, 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 and over there. So if you are removing a three inch floppy drive from a PCW, 8256 or 512 keep in mind there are going to be four screws 
not two. I'm probably only going to use two or three when I put in the Gotek, just because it's not big and heavy like this this beast. As far as the uh, replacing the belt on this drive, I'm going to do that in a separate video because this is going to be a little bit involved. I got to take the chassis off. There's a board in there that's got to be removed, etc. So that will be a separate video. We won't call it a part three, but it'll be a separate video on how to replace a belt on an Amstrad PCW 3-inch floppy drive. All right, so let's go grab my GoTech stuff. Here is my GoTech drive already mounted in my 3D printed case. I've got my ribbon cable plugged in, my power cable. I also wired up a piezo speaker so you can hear the floppy sounds. Uh, I can turn that on or off in flash floppy. I'll put a link in the description to flash floppy so you'll know what to use to flash your GoTech drive. Um, why I thought two screws on mounting was because I was I had looked at my bracket here. One mount there, mount over there. So yeah, I'm only going to be using two screws. What else here? So I got my, my buttons in, my OLED screen, and I just used some hot glue to secure that. Hold that in place. So there is that, and we're going to install it down in here. So hold on, we'll be right back. All right, the GoTech is mounted in the case. All the cables are plugged in, everything looks good. Got everything kind of tucked away. The ground wire that went to the chassis is not being used, so I just put some blue painter's tape on it because the uh, the casing, you know, now it's a 3D printed, it's plastic, so nothing to ground. So I'm just going to keep that tucked in there for now. Put the back on and show you what the front looks like. Da-da-da-da-da! The GoTech is installed. Looks awesome. Sorry for the reflection, you can see my light over there, but trying to get black to show up is really hard. So there it is. It's all mounted. It's ready to go. Next thing to do is plug this in, grab my USB thumbstick that I got prepared, and let's fire it up for the first time with a GoTech drive. This is exciting. The moment we have all been waiting for. The smoke test of my GoTech drive. It's installed. The computer's plugged in. The keyboard's plugged in. Off camera, I plugged in my USB thumbstick that I've pre-prepped. You can see it plugged in right there. And I have it set to where it should just automatically boot into CPM when I turn this on. So let's go ahead and hit the power button. Activity light, load screen. Oh, and there it is. CPM Plus Amstrad Computer Electronics PLC version 1.4 one disk drive A prompt. All right, and we can see here on the OLED screen if I can get it to focus. Let's see here. Come on, focus. That looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is just scroll through here. I got a few things on here. Batman. Yeah, let's do Batman. So let's do D I R. You know, you'll see Batman. So to get this to load, I've got to uh, pretend like there's a disk installed, which there is technically with the GoTech. I need to hit Shift, Extra, and Exit, which is the equivalent of Control Alt Delete on a Windows machine. And it's going to reboot. It's now loading the disk off the GoTech. You can see that there. Batman by Ocean Software. You see the activity light. And the Batman theme music. All right. I call this a success. My GoTech is working. It's booting to 
CPM when it first turns on and I programmed that through Flash Floppy. So I will put links in the description of Flash Floppy and all the other things mentioned in this video. But let's test that out real quick. Let's go ahead and turn the machine off. I want to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to go ahead and power it back on and it should boot right back into CPM if I did this right. And it looks like it's going to be doing that. And there it is. Also, the screen roll that you saw, that is not happening in person. That's just an artifact of my phone and how it's being recorded. So awesome. Again, this is a success. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Please subscribe, like the video, ring the bell for more notifications when more videos show up in my feed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.